Hello everybody and welcome to my first speed build on this channel. Um, I'm sorry I have been MIA for, I think it's been like three months now. Um, I had some crazy life things going on and, um, you know, both good things and bad things. And, you know, YouTube kind of fell by the wayside. But hopefully I am back now and I decided, even though I've only done create some videos so far on this channel... I actually do really like building and wanted to build something. So I will continue to do, you know, create a sim videos like the other three that I've done. But um, I made this apartment in Samai Shuno and will have another actually tiny house build that I did going up here hopefully soon. I um, also already filmed a create a sim video for... Um, kind of like a writer, uh, journalist, maybe. I am not sure if either of the houses I built properly fit her. Maybe this one does, kind of, but I'm not completely sure. So this apartment is, like I said, in Samai Shuno. It's the apartment that Salim lives in, and I kind of really wanted to go crazy with clutter especially because we just got the everyday clutter kit and this apartment is a needs TLC apartment and it's very small. You know, I really wanted to jam pack it with as much clutter and just stuff as I possibly could. So you will definitely see that. Um, I've used every clutter object from the kit and also like probably over half the clutter options we have in the other parts of the game. But I did imagine this sim is kind of a writer, uh, maybe, you know, sits at home and does some, like, journalism living in the city. I am going to be putting this apartment on the gallery. It will be under my username that I'll have up on screen right now because I'm not actually 100% sure what it currently is. Uh, but I will say this apartment, you're going to need to select... Um, show custom content builds um unfortunately the game just recognizes that i have custom content even though i didn't specifically use any custom content in this build um i do have some default overrides like you can see the floor i used that is actually a default override and so it's recognized as cc but it will hopefully look pretty similar if you decide to use it in your own game so another thing with this apartment is I really wanted it to be kind of dark and moody. Um, a lot of like industrial touches and also just like deeper colors. I used a blue accent throughout the entire apartment. Um, and you'll also notice I put this apartment on a bit of a platform. I really wanted to have the apartment feel a little bit like cruddier and smaller and cluttered. Uh, so I did raise up the apartment on a platform. You will also notice uh, the Needs TLC items are raised as well. I just used the tool mod to do that. Um, personally, I do kind of cover them with stuff. I feel like it's kind of weird to like leave clutter out of the areas where there's some Need TLC stuff. So I do put stuff in front of them. But if you just move the stuff in gameplay, uh, you should be able to access those things. And I did test. It is functional after being moved up with the tool mod. I tested both, um, or I tested all three of the Needs TLC things in this apartment. All, like, there's the pipes and the electrical box and the mouse hole. One other thing I did want to ask you guys about is what you think about the um, speed of the speed build. I wasn't quite sure how fast I should do it and um, obviously how long that makes the video. I didn't want to do it too fast because I know that it can be kind of dizzying to have the spinning constantly. But I also didn't want to do it too slow and make this like a 30 minute video. Um, I feel like hopefully I kind of hit a sweet spot, but if you would prefer, you know, it to be a little bit slower and watch a little bit longer video or vice versa, that's always an option. Um, and hopefully I can kind of figure out what a good length is for these videos and also a good speed is for 
the speed part of the speed build. So you can see here I am just kind of pulling out like every clutter item both from the kit and also that I thought might fit really well in this apartment. Of course I pull out more later but um, I do pull out a bunch right now and I'm using the OMSP shelf to kind of get them to the right height um, depending on if it's where I'm stacking it down below or if I'm putting it up on the shelf or the cupboard up at the top. I just really wanted to be able to get clutter in as many places as I could. Um, I did also test the kitchen and everything. Everything I could think to test in this apartment is functional. Um, I think I did move a couple things around a little bit, but for the most part, everything works fine and it should be perfectly fine on the gallery. So that should be good. Also, one more thing on the gallery, there are rooms, or I'm sorry, there are walls missing between the bathroom and the rest of the apartment. And also the bedroom is the same platform height as everything else. Um, you could either leave the bedroom on the same platform height or you could lower it down one like I did. And then also I uploaded the entire office kind of area separately because I did raise and lower things a lot in that area and it kind of made it difficult to just raise the platform up with the rest of the apartment and upload it entirely. Um, I will say, unfortunately, this is kind of a pain in the butt uh, apartment to download because I also used Tool to replace the windows and the door in this apartment. So really, my intent wasn't for this to be an apartment that a ton of people would play in. It was more just kind of fun to build and hopefully fun to watch. Um, and hopefully you can at least enjoy that. In the future, I will hopefully do some apartments that aren't so difficult, but EA did kind of make apartments very difficult for us. So moving on past just talking about the apartment incessantly, um, I figured I would give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on in my life since I last uploaded. Um, if you care, if you don't, um, just mute the video and put on music. Um, so since I last uploaded, I actually got married over the summer, um, and it was absolutely amazing and just like my dream wedding. I went to the Redwoods and had some close family and friends and we got married in all black and in front of the Redwood trees and by this beautiful river. And a bunch of my wedding photos, I'm like standing in the water in this big dress. And it was just everything I could have dreamed of. Um, and then after the summertime, I started up my last year of college. Um, I'm going to be graduating here in June. So I'm kind of dealing with both the craziness of it being the last year of college for me and also the intense senioritis that has come with that. I am studying to go into social work and so I am finally doing the classes that I've actually wanted to do for the most part which involves you know really diving into social work stuff. It's not just gen ed classes like math and science and all of that. Although I did put off taking some of my science classes until now, so I'm still doing those. But everything else is stuff I actually enjoy. Um, and it's like the best part of being a senior in college is taking the classes that I want to. But either way, I still have like really intense senioritis and I just want to graduate already. And thankfully, this semester is almost over. I only have like a month left. And then I have a little bit of free time, like a month, um, and then I go right back into my last semester of college. But after that, I will be free to do as I please um, and actually go into the profession that I really want to. Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds really tired and like 
crackly. Um, my voice has been just kind of in and out for the past couple days. Uh, since Thanksgiving, we had a ton of people over and I feel like I spent the whole day talking. So um, I'm still kind of going back and forth with my voice. And if I talk for too long, like I'm doing right now, um, it tends to cut out a little bit on me. I've actually tried to record this voiceover a couple times today. And every time I felt like my voice was just dying. So um, hopefully I can just be okay with good enough and um, it doesn't sound too horrible. I am having to stop every like minute <laughs> um, to clear my throat and take a drink of water because it's been so bad. So hopefully it's not too noticeable and in the future it will hopefully be better. Um, I also want to thank you guys for bearing with me through this crazy time and through like me figuring out everything and being really inconsistent and just all of it. Um, I started this YouTube channel like the beginning of this year and started with no subscribers and now I have 300 almost, which is absolutely insane to me that like there's 300 people who thought my videos were not terrible and actually wanted to subscribe to me. And I just really, really appreciate you guys and appreciate that you actually enjoy um, what I'm doing. I also appreciate everyone who voted in the community poll I put up. I would love to see more comments below about what you would want to see from me, whether it be more builds or stick to create a sim content. I personally am totally just a builder at heart. That's what I've always loved to do. But I kind of started my channel by doing the Tina Day stuff. And so now I feel like that's what everybody wants from me. And I'm perfectly happy to do either. Um, but it seems like nobody really wants to see gameplay, which I'm fine with either because I'm not great at live narration. So um, just let me know what you guys would like to see from me. Um, I also would love to do some... Uh, current household videos kind of just talking about my own personal gameplay but again just let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. I have also recently been playing a lot of The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. Um, I've played them for a very long time. I started playing The Sims 10 years ago um, and that's when The Sims 3 was really popular. I really got into The Sims 3 because of Life Simmers videos. Um, if anybody remembers the Generations Let's Play she did, that was like my starting point with my obsession with The Sims and it's just grown since then. Um, so I have kind of started to get back into The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 games. Um, and I've been really loving it, and I've kind of stepped away from The Sims 4 a little bit lately. Um, I mostly stopped playing it after the high school years update when just everything broke, and it was really frustrating, and I had to go through and update all of my mods, and I have a lot of mods, but um, I just felt like I spent forever updating them and then the game kept breaking and it was so frustrating that I just picked up different games or I guess different versions of the same game. We are reaching the end of the video here so I hope you guys have enjoyed and make sure to let me know what you want to see more of in the comments for me. Uh, make sure you take care of yourself, drink some water, and be safe.